area where a Balkan war breaks out. This is the Balkans, this peninsula. There's many ways it could start. It could start in Cyprus or Serbia or Bosnia. But for the sake of this video, I'll start in Bosnia. In, not Bosnia, in Kosovo. After weeks of preparations, a big push, Serbia organized a push in the Kosovo. Which led to Albania joining. And Serbia was worried about how this could go. They called on their ally Greece when they were about to take out, when they started pushing to Albania. Because Albania is stronger. Macedonia wants land from Albania, so they join. And with this, they start crushing it. But then, on today, well, Bosnia falls into a civil war. Serbska declared independence. Serbska looks like this approximately. But then they add fire to the flame. Croatia. Croatian back separatists break out. This is how Bosnia completely falls apart. Bosnia joins the blue side. Serbia swiftly taking up Albania and Bosnia, along with Croatia destroying oh, Bosnia. Eventually, Bosnia completely falls, and this is what it looks like. And, well, Croatia and back separatists occupy that. Serbska occupies that. Montenegro joins their side. Serbia starts a push into Croatia. Croatia responds by, well, joining the blue team. But this is no... There's nothing for Albania. Albania falls. And then the Serbian Krijania declares independence. If you're not if you don't know much about the region, the Serbian Krijania is a group of pro Serbs inside Croatia. They occupy this land so far. Croatia gets roller coastered. Bulgaria joins the war, seeing that they're all completely distracted except Greece. It's ready for this. So, this is what the front lines look like at the time of its invasion. It starts to look like that. They push right through northern Macedonia, or Macedonia, whatever you call it. But the rest slows down. Cyprus declares war on, well, northern Cyprus. Which leads to Turkey joining the war, crumbling them. But Turkey isn't completely ready. So, well, they get pushed right back to Istanbul, and Bulgaria gets pushed back. 
Turkey is stronger in terms of military, but economy, I don't know. don't think so. And then this is what the front lines eventually look like. Commuter is being slow today, as you can tell. The push into Serbia. Serbia withdraws troops from the Serbian Krijana and, and Bosnia. Leading to the Great Fallback. I call this the Fallback War. Where are they pushing the Bosnia? In the Serbska. Slovenia decides to join the war against the against Serbia. Computer is being pretty slow today. But you know. Not a big deal. Hungary declares war wanting to get part of Vojvodina where the Hungarians live. With a rebellion breaking out in Albania. And they quickly take back their country. Quickly do this. Take back the country. Then they meet up with Bulgarian troops in Macedonia. Pusha started into Vojvodina, which somehow captured Vojvodina fast. And then, well, Bulgaria and Albania start to push up into Kosovo. Montenegro doesn't withdraw from the war, so a big fat invasion into Ma Montenegro has started. And at this time, Kosovo is liberated. And quickly they go down and push right into Serbia. It's at this point Serbia, Montenegro, and Serbska surrenders. Their full countries are occupied. Romania was thinking about joining the war, but now all thoughts of joining the war. Well, Greece is completely pushed back in Thrace. Down by them. Oh my god, my computer is being slow. Very slow. Excessively slow. After a landing in Crete, eventually Crete is completely taken over. When Athens gets threatened, Greece surrenders. My computer is being as slow as molasses today. Turkey annexes this part of Greece. This part of Greece. Bulgaria takes these lands. I think Albania built territory. Take these lands from Serbia. Kosovo takes these lands. Albania takes these lands. They unify with Kosovo. They also take these lands. And then these lands are taken by Croatia. Part of Serbska remains. But it is unified with Serbia. 
and part of Montenegro is ceded to them. Push down here to take more land. The Hungarian parts of Wojovina and the rest of Wojovina is taken by Hungary. Albania annex is the first to annex its territories. Albania signs the Treaty of Belgrade. Then the Treaty of Sofia is signed with Bulgaria, Turkey, and Greece, and Cyprus. Bulgaria annexes a lot of territory. And then they annex this, these lands, Turkey does. And it looks pretty nice on the map. Take this, oh this, 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 and the Treaty of Sofia is ratified, and the Treaty of Belgrade is ratified. And now the Treaty of Zagreb is signed. The final treaty of the war with Croatia annexing these lands. Slovenia gets reparations, but not much land because, well, they're not connected by land. And then hunger. This is. And this is what Croatia looks like. And then at the end, well, that's it for this video. The end. Thanks for watching.